this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I want to show you just how easy it is to make air fryer banana bread with your leftover bananas. It's just one of those simple air fryer recipes that you will love. It's easy to mix and match the seasonings so that if you were doing one for Thanksgiving, for example, you could add pumpkin spice, um, you could add ginger at Christmas time. There's just so much scope with it and it's great for using up all those leftover bananas. So for ingredients, obviously loads of these. And we've also got self-raising flour, or as you might call it, self-rising. We've got some brown sugar, vanilla extract, an egg, butter, and then for our flavour today, we're going with uh, ground ginger and some mixed spice. Uh, mixed spice is very similar in the US to your apple spice seasoning that you put on your apple pies and it's just lovely. And then you need some sort of cream to give it that lovely thick texture. So I'm going with sour cream today, but you can use Greek yogurt or another favourite of yours, depending on what you prefer to use. And it's just a really simple recipe that you can put together quickly. So let's make some room here and I can show you how it's done. So we're going to start by mixing the sugar and the butter. So grab your sugar and add it to your bowl. And then I've already allowed the butter to go to room temperature because then it's so much easier to mix. I was with the kids at their baking class the other night and I just love how descriptive the teacher is. She's a former school teacher and I love the way she describes how awful it is to mix butter when it's as hard as nails. She's real kiddie entertainment, as I would say. So I'm using one of these hand mixers. You could uh, use your food processor or blender. And then once you're happy with it, you can add in your seasonings. So this is the mixed spice that I was talking about. Oh, it smells so good. I use it for both um, sweet and savoury cooking and it's just brilliant. So then after that, ground ginger. I like um, a decent portion of ginger because by the time you've made it into a big banana cake, then that is plenty. And then the next step is to add in some of your wet ingredients. So your egg and then once you've added in your cream add in some vanilla absolutely love this vanilla that I've got I'm gonna do a couple of lids this vanilla is absolutely amazing and I actually picked it up whilst on holiday in Mexico so I'll be gutted when I've run out of it and then once you've added those time for another mix once it's had a good mix it's time to add in the favorite ingredient and that's your bananas what I recommend you do is if you're not using a food processor when you're adding in your bananas is that you give them a good squeeze like that as you're adding them in because it makes blending them with a hand blender so much easier and of course the softer they are the better you can also do your bananas in a separate bowl and then mash them with a fork if you prefer. Total personal choice. Our little boy Georgie absolutely loves banana bread. He knew we were making some this week so he's been asking each day, is it today mummy that you're doing the banana bread? So now, now you're squeezing your bananas, carry on the mixing process. And 
then if you notice I did that on a high speed and that is to get the bananas well mixed in you've still got a little bit of bananas in there but it's lovely like that you just don't want any really big bits and then the final add-in is the flour so this is the flour that i've already measured out and like i said it's self-raising flour and then just give it a good mix and then i recommend you finish um, with a regular spoon where you can actually scrape the edges. I'm going to actually use my yogurt spoon because we've got yogurt in the recipe anyway. And it's great to save on some washing up. And then just give it a good scrape around the edges. And then it's ready to go into the silicone and to be air fried. And isn't that amazing? Can you believe it? Banana bread in the air fryer. And you can also add chocolate to this recipe. You know, if you think of those small bags of chocolate chips, they're perfect to stir in at this point. If you wanted to do a chocolatey one, or you can just keep it plain like we're doing here. Or you can even grate some chocolate. It's grated chocolate that we've got on the recipe that's on recipethis.com. If you search for our air fry banana bread, you can find it like that. There you go. I mean, look at that. That looks fantastic. Oh, and if you prefer it more traditional, what you can do is you can buy some silicone moulds like this. And these are like doing the little loaf pans. And then instead of into that, you can do two small ones like this. And they'll sit in any sized air fry basket. Or if you've got uh, like the Jewel Ninja, you can get bigger ones than ones like the size of two of those put together. So that's also a good idea if you've got a different sized air fryer. So first of all, I'm just gonna get rid of my mixer because it's blocking my air fryer. And then get out your air fryer basket. Pop in your silicone careful because they're really stretchy. So it's very easy for you to tilt it a little bit too much and for some to drop out. So then once it's in, turn it on. And we're looking for 25 minutes at a temperature of 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit, and then press start. Beat. So let me show you the banana bread so far. Wow, look at that for banana bread. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So now it won't be quite cooked in the center, so we recommend putting your banana bread back on for another 10 minutes at 160 Celsius, 320 Fahrenheit, and then press start. And we've beeped. So let's check on our banana bread, shall we? Oh, and wow, doesn't that look fantastic? Oh, I'm loving the colour on it. I can smell the bananas. They smell absolutely amazing. And I just can't wait to tuck in. I mean, oh, look at that. That just looks so good. If you've not done banana bread before in the air fryer, then you are absolutely going to love it. It's just amazing. So this is the banana bread. I've given it plenty of time to cool because then it's easier to slice. And then I can show you what it's like when you use the silicone. You see the silicone is just perfect because look at how clean that silicone is. It's just brilliant. And then that's what the bottom of your banana bread looks like. So it's nice and soft from the bananas. And then you've got a lovely crust on top because of the air fryer. it for you so that you can see the center and that is what the center looks like on the banana bread now you can just slice it up like this ready for serving oh, I just love banana bread it's just so nice so if you have a look at these slices so good 
when cooked in there and it's got a lovely moist center from the bananas i do prefer it with the chocolate though i must admit i'm more taken with it with chocolate it gives it a different kind of texture so if you have a look at the different sizes there it's perfect but yeah chocolate gives it a much better texture so you can grate some chocolate you can use chocolate chips just don't put big pieces of chocolate in because it'll melt and it'll change the texture of it too soon in the air fryer so as long as it's in small pieces it's good to go and you can also use dark chocolate in there and you can also flavor your banana bread so you know you can do pumpkin spice in it or you can do it heavy on the cinnamon it's just totally up to you and it's just perfect for using up your leftover bananas and don't forget to order yourself a copy of the complete air fryer cookbook available now on amazon and a lot of popular retailers thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter as well as following us on pinterest and facebook and joining our facebook group we are also on tiktok now so don't forget to follow us at tiktok forward slash recipe this